Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you my Lodge cast iron Dutch oven and also how I use it on a regular basis because this Dutch oven is such a handy tool to have and the one that I have is in particular the 5 quart or the 4.7 liter version and without further ado let's dive straight into the video. Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about the Lodge cast iron Dutch oven. This is the 5 quart cast iron Dutch oven from Lodge uh, which is an American made cast iron or cooking ware brand and um, this in particular the five quart one or 4.7 liter is one that i use a lot in when i cook in this video today guys i'm going to show you how i use it for cooking pasta sauces that i want to make sure that i give them enough time one of the best things you can do when you're cooking is use time to your advantage but that can be really tricky sometimes because sometimes if you use time you need to keep an eye close eye on things so you don't burn and things don't get stuck and this is one of those times when these dutch ovens come in handy now this particular one is a five quart or 4.7 liter cutch like a uh, lodge cast iron dutch oven that uh, i use all the time especially for cooking pasta sauces because one of the best things you can do for a tomato based pasta sauce is to give it time to cook okay because as that reduces down the flavors develop and it just becomes much more flavorful if you give it enough time but if you leave it on top of the stove and there's only heat coming from underneath the, uh, the actual uh, cooking tool that you're using uh, it's very likely to burn in the bottom and all the like the liquids will go to the top and then the more solid stuff will be in the bottom and it's just really hard to avoid burning unless you like go and stir it every 10-15 minutes and that's something I want to have want to avoid when I cook uh, these tomato based pasta sauces over time and that's when this comes in handy so I'm gonna walk you through the process of how I do this and how I can cook this over two to three hours without having to actually worry about anything burning and why this is so useful Okay guys, we've got everything in place and the first thing I want to do is just brown off the garlic and the onion and then toss in that uh, basil and let that infuse for a little bit and then just essentially bring everything together and then chuck it in the oven because that's how I'm going to cook this over a longer period of time. I'm going to take this whole uh, cast iron Dutch oven, chuck it in the oven and then I can leave it on a low temperature for say two to three hours, let that sauce simmer but the heat will then come from all directions, top, bottom, sides and that mean even cook, means even cooking without any risk of burning at a temperature that's much e more easy to control than if you're doing it on top of the stove like this okay so we're just gonna let this pan heat up a little bit turn down the heat a little bit I'm using a, a good quality but lightly flavored light in flavor olive oil for this you need lots of oil we wanted to basically cover the bottom of the pan and then we're gonna get our uh, onion in We'll get our garlic in. I'm using thinly sliced garlic because that's how I like the garlic in my pasta sauces. And then we got a mix of both green and red chilies, okay? A little bit of heat to the sauce. I'm using a wooden utensil and a, or a wooden spoon because it's just nicer than plastic because it doesn't give anything, any, and it, so there's no risk of anything ending up in your sauce. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. I might actually have to add a bit more oil, I don't know if you can see that, but we just want to, we don't want to brown this, we just want to kind of make it translucent. I'm also going to add some oregano to this, because why not, you know, I'm going to mix it up sometimes. A little bit like that. This is not a recipe video, so I just want to get this kind of over and done with, so I can show you the next step. When the onions and the garlic start becoming a little bit translucent, I'm going to add my, my bunch of basil. Uh, this, this will infuse the sauce with flavor and this will stay in until the end uh, when I can just pull the whole thing out. Now before I put the tomatoes in, I'm going to add a big pinch of salt because I want the salt to help break down the, the cells in the garlic and the onion to make them cook down a little bit better. So I'm going to add a big pinch of salt. I've got my pureed tomatoes here that I've pureed with my uh, food mill at home because it just gives a better result like nine times out of ten. So that's what we're using today. This is five cans that I've pureed myself. And this is about the time I want to pour all of that in. All in one go. Now the pan is very hot because it is a cast iron pan. That's another really good benefit with using a cast iron pan. It holds the heat very well. Uh, so we're going to get some um, cooking going here with this... Um, with this sauce. Now this is really ready for the next step now which is taking the whole thing putting it in the oven uh, and then we can just wait. I'm going to add some pepper 
and then we're going to turn on the oven, leave it on about 100, 110 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I'll put it on the screen uh, and then leave it in for two to three hours and just have a look after two hours and taste and see how it is. And then if I think it needs to be in longer, I can just chuck it back in again. It's now been in the oven for about two hours, just under two hours. And I'm going to take it out now and give it a stir and taste and, and see what it looks like. But this is the beauty of using a cast iron Dutch oven because you can leave it in the oven like that. Uh, you get the benefits of the cast iron uh, leaking out iron into the food. So you, you don't have to supplement with iron supplements, even if you're low in iron. Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's bring it out. The lid has been sitting ajar, so it's been slightly open the whole time, which means that some of the moisture can actually escape so that the sauce thickens as, in a, at a very, very slow rate, as well as it, at the same time as it cooks from all sides at once because it's in the ovens. Another good thing about the cast iron is that it transfers the heat really well. So uh, if it's 110 degrees in the oven, it's gonna be 110 degrees around the whole thing that you're cooking, which means really even heat distribution and even cooking. So you're not gonna get that problem with heating from underneath and burning. Uh, and this is what you end up with, okay? So I'm just gonna lift this off. And we're gonna take a look here so you can see how nice and thickened the sauce has become already. And it smells in amazing. And all that's like, it's just such a simple recipe this. And, um, but time is your best friend, okay? So I'm gonna give it a taste. Mm. Wow. Oh my God, that is amazing. So when you give something time like this in the oven, you're cooking away all those harsh flavors, like the really um, kind of bite the acidity of the tomatoes go away. And you get this like really soft and delicious uh, flavor and texture from the tomato sauce that is going to coat a pasta, whatever pasta you use, this kind of sauce is going to coat, coat that beautifully. For this meal in particular, I'm gonna fry up some Italian sausages and, and uh, like the sausage meat, so take it out of the actually actual skin and fry up the Italian sausage meat and then throw that in at the end to add some extra some extra niceness to the sauce but you can only do this if you have a cast iron Dutch oven or a Dutch oven you can use other types of uh, Dutch ovens but to be honest you really should have a, a cast iron Dutch oven in your arsenal because you can do so many different things with it and it's one of those things that I use on a weekly basis whenever I make sauce myself uh, because you can really take your eyes off and still give the sauce the time it needs to develop all those nice flavors. So if you don't have one already, make sure you check out the link in the description below to grab a Lodge 5 quart cast iron Dutch oven. So that's it for this video guys. Uh, I will see you in the next video. That's another good thing about the cast iron because it's... Uh, it, um, uh, it, it, Another good thing about cast iron is that it uh, con um, sorry. <laughs>